So here on the screen, we have the price set on a four-hourly time frame, and uh, we are forming something like a symmetrical triangle right here. I actually believe that symmetrical triangle is a continuation pattern, so the bias would be for us to continue to the upside since we are in an uptrend, right? So let's go ahead and measure the the price target for this uh, move if we are to continue to the upside. You know, the bias being. Uh, obviously a continuation right so at the point of breakout somewhere around this download swapping resistance right here we'll be looking at something like 160 dollars um in the coming days or something like that after the weekend, there is a right? condition that we actually need to satisfy for us to go ahead and uh you know break above this resistance right here we need a daily close above 141 dollars so here is how you come up with 141 dollars you just grab your fear retracement too uh, from a candle which is a daily candle above uh, the resistance line there right and then you pull it down to the very bottom right here and you can actually see that uh, uh, once we go to the 786 field retracement level right here this is where we are finding difficulty we haven't had you know a convincing daily candle above this line there and that's actually what we need to have right here if we have a convincing candle above 141 dollars what that actually does is it gives us a ticket to go out and take this high right here at 160 nine or something like that but taking out 169 obviously it means that we would have gotten above this resistance line there so yeah if you really want to see a convincing daily candle above 141 dollars there because it's really really important morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're in the world Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quant update. The clips you just pushed were taken from the very last video I made on quant last week. So I want to begin here by congratulating everyone who was involved in this trade. Everyone was paying attention back then when we were sitting right around the $138. I mean, because at some point you were up like 30%. But not only that, if you were paying attention right around this area, you are in massive profits at the moment. And most importantly, if you're paying attention when we're down right here, I mean, congratulations, really. So, yeah, we don't want to focus too much on the past because uh, we need to look at the future, right? So before I do that, I just want to ask you to delicately tap the like button. It really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, people looking for this kind of information will not be able to find it much, 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 much more easily. Right? Also, if you're interested in Quant, which I'm sure you are, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel because lately we've been crushing it on Quant, right? So, so in today's video, we'll look at the price set one more time to try and figure out what exactly is going to happen right in the future. And we'll also take a look at some, you know, on-chain matrix uh, to see where exactly is buying quant, where is selling, what exactly is happening right on the blockchain. So yeah, without me running my mouth too much, let me get into the real stuff. So um, what you can see right here is we were looking at this resistance right here. Let me quickly show you the chart on a daily time frame right here because it's much more clearer there. Don't worry about the lines. I'll explain each and every single thing right here so that you have a perfect, perfect view of what's happening right here. So basically, we are looking at this inverse head and shoulders pattern, which we've been tracking for, I think, to three months right now um and uh, the price target for this invested and shoulders pattern is something like 230 dollars that's really good to see i mean considering where we were we were talking about this when we we're still down here so i mean if you're in a trade right now i mean you're in massive profits obviously i'm not going to tell anyone when exactly to buy or when exactly to uh, terminate their trade right my job here is just to present what exactly i see on the price so yeah the price target is 230 dollars we will be waiting to see if we can get there right but in the immediate short term right here we broke above this uh, resistance right here, major resistance, by the way. In that last video, like you saw on that clip, I was saying that if we have a daily close above $141, um, that would actually give us a virtual certainty that we would go ahead and break above this resistance. And for sure, that's exactly what happened, right? But now what we want to see for continuation is we want to see a daily candle close above this uh area right here of which the upper bound of this resistance here is 163 dollars so we really want to see a daily candle close above 163 because i mean uh, if you look at the daily candle that we have right here i mean it's showing like a serious rejection at the moment uh we really don't want a situation like this because that will be clear rejection from this resistance line obviously we could chill out a little bit in this zone right here but what you don't want to see is a massive rejection that even takes us below you know what this level is $150 there. If we get something like a massive rejection like that, I mean, um, we'd have to reevaluate the situation. But what we want to see for continuation at the moment is a break and close. We've already had a break, actually. A close above 163, a daily candle right there, right? So, um, actually, things are getting interesting right here because uh, when you take a look at the price chart from a fib retracement perspective, which I'll just do in a minute right here, let's see uh from the very top that we had right here at 430 429 something like that uh we retraced obviously and then um above this resistance we're actually getting into important uh retracement levels and what happens in these levels is actually that uh you know sellers are always residing in this 
uh, zones right here and you can actually see that all of these retracement zones are actually areas of interest for example when you take a look at this uh, 0.382 fib retracement level the 188 dollar mark there you can actually see that here when you look left uh, there is you know some kind of um, resistance that is lying there so uh, really we should be paying attention obviously our price target right here is 230 dollars but there are hurdles um, along the way right so this is the first resistance in the immediate short term on $88 is a resistance if we are to close a daily candle above 163 there and then looking at the next few retracement level you can see that they are actually coming into perfect alignment with the resistance lines or the support previous support zones that you can see on the price set here which is the 0.5 fib retracement level here sitting at $234 also in alignment with our price target of the inverse head and shoulders pattern right here so yeah this you know, fib retracement levels, they're actually very important. The 0.618 is even showing, you know, much more resistance there, which is $280. Obviously, um, when we get to these levels, we'd have to look at the market conditions one more time. But I'm just warning you before things happen that uh, we are getting into retracement levels. And these retracement levels are usually the places where uh, sellers are residing, right? It really wouldn't matter if I start talking about this resistance line after they've already shown up on the price set. Because, I mean, the history of this channel, you know that we always look towards the future we try to prepare for situations before they arrive and that's exactly the reason why you are subscribed to this channel right so yeah uh, my main concern is we are now running into fib retracement levels and um you know this is where sellers are usually residing right now let's move on to take a look at some on-chain metrics right here so uh, when you look at the price set what you're seeing right here there are two graphs right here um the first graph right here shows you know the price you can see the price going up going down whatever it's doing right and then you can also see the network growth so when we put them like this one on top of the other you can actually see that there is confluence uh, between the network growth right here and the price so yeah as price is going up the network growth is also going up so this is really nice to see you really want to see confluence between price and network growth right moving on to the next um metric that we want to look at we want to look at uh, the price uh, as compared to actually let me first put this one uh Okay, on a daily time frame, yeah. So this is the price chart here, and this is the active number of addresses in the last 24 hours, right? So you can actually see that, yes, um, they are also in confluence. The price is going down. The active number of addresses is going down. The price is going up. The active number of addresses is also going up. So really massive confluence there. This is really something nice to see. Right? Now let's check uh, what's happening with the exchange flow rate. Uh, who is depositing and who is withdrawing, right? So what we see with this metric right here, we can see the price set, okay, doing whatever it's doing. And then this exchange flow, let me actually explain this a little bit. This is, you know, the difference between the amount of quant that has been deposited on exchanges uh, and the amount of quant that has been withdrawn. So when you see a positive spike like this one right here, it simply means that more quant has been deposited on exchanges. And uh, it usually means that, you know, people are ready to sell their quant because if you're sorting your quant on cold storage, uh, the moment you're putting it on an exchange, it's probably because you want to sell it. Right? So an example is uh, this time right here where I'm cl clicking with my mouse here on the 18th of January, you can see this spike right here uh, on the exchange flow balance. So you can see that that immediately the price also down right because as i explained like depositing quant uh, on an exchange probably means that uh, people want to sell right so at the moment the good thing is let me actually zoom this thing so that we have a clear picture of what is happening in the immediate short term right here yes uh we had a spike right here obviously we had a dump let me actually show you that dump on the price chart immediately and uh, that is this dump you see right here on the fall time frame this right here this resistance but we finally got uh, you know above it and we pumped to the upside again so going back to where we are on the quant price set right here is you know that deposit more quant coins were deposited on exchange uh, as compared to the quant coins which were withdrawn from exchanges right? so uh, we are currently out seeing neutral because you can see this uh, horizontal line right here uh, at the moment, we're not seeing anything dramatic, but at the very moment I see more quant coins flocking to exchanges, I will be here to ring the alarms and I'll come up with a video immediately. We can also look at the transaction volume uh, alongside with the price. So you see the transaction volume here, 
it's a little bit in conference with the price, but uh, maybe right here we are having some kind of uh, divergence, right? Let's see how that goes, really. Um, there isn't much to read, so let me quickly close this before I start saying things which are not there. But uh, I've got a little bit of concerns right here. So let me show you what's happening with um, the wells uh, on the quant price. Set. So here is the supply and the distribution on, on, of the quant tokens, right? Don't worry, I'm going to explain all these graphs. It's not really complicated. So basically, we have the price right here, which you're seeing here. And we have the number of addresses uh, that hold a certain number of quant coins, right? So this group right here, you see, uh, this is a group of uh, addresses which on between 0.1 coins up until one quant right one quant coins and this group you see right here they own you know at least one coin up until 10 coins right this one right here 10 coins up to 100 and this group right here is a hundred coins up to you know a thousand coins this group right here they own a thousand coins to ten thousand coins this one right here they own ten thousand up until a hundred thousand coins right so basically what we see is as the price is going this group right here this group this group and this group right here they are accumulating but there's a certain group these two groups right here they are dumping and these are the addresses that uh, they have the most coins and these are the worlds actually because when you actually look at this you know a hundred thousand uh, coins multiplied by the current price here i'm sure these people are millionaires right so uh, most of the millionaires are dumping their coins i don't know for what reason because as we saw the network growth is actually really positive um the transaction volume is good so i really don't know what to say about this but uh, what i would say is never underestimate the smart money these people i mean they have been dumping throughout uh, this whole pump right here you can actually see that this price is going up they we're dumping time and again, but uh, we could say there's something positive happening right here because when you take a look at this group right here, that have got 10,000 to 100,000 quant tokens, um, there seem to be something like uh, a spike right here, but uh, this metric is a little bit worrying. I'll be honest with you, we'll keep, um, you know, tracking this metric, but, um, you know, if the smart money is selling, um, I really don't like these things. We will keep a close eye on this metric because uh, it seems to me at least that uh, the smart money is dumping uh, their coins um, whilst the retail investors are buying from them. But yeah, this is just my point of view. Tell me what you think in the comment section and we can have, you know, um, a conversation about it, right? So we can also look at the supply that is held by top nine exchanges and you can actually see that here uh, they are also dumping right here. Let's see. Let's incorporate the price here. But yeah, when we add the price to this chart right here, you can see that um, you could actually attribute the recent dump uh, that we have right here to, you know, these uh, top uh, non-exchange addresses because you can see that they are actually going down right here at the same time we are having this rejection right at a resistance level so yeah this is something to keep note of i'm not going to take a side really but i'm just showing you what is uh, being shown to us on the on-chain metric metrics another metric that is a little bit of worry is uh, you know the supply that is uh, outside exchanges and the supply that is on exchanges basically uh, if we have supply outside of exchanges it's the same thing that uh, we talked about when we talked about exchange flow if we have got a spike on the supply that is outside exchanges it probably suggests that that those uh, quant coins are being taken off of exchanges you know to be kept on cold storage but when we have you know the supply on exchanges it suggests that uh, these quant tokens are going to be sold at. so this metric is a little bit worrying because uh, you can see that uh, the supply and that is uh, outside exchanges is dropping right here meanwhile the supply that is going on to exchanges is going high so yeah i mean we are raising antennas once again with this metric that we see right here we talked about the exchange flow we also talked about transaction volume we talked about uh, the supply held by top exchanges this one is remaining relatively constant because it also includes addresses in here so to summarize everything we're finally broken above resistance but for us to continue we need a daily candle above 160 for 163 dollars right about there right but we are now faced with uh, a little bit of challenges with fib retracement levels. They are also coming into confluence with the resistance lines that we have, you know, from previous uh, support lines and those areas of interest right here. We're looking at the 0.382, the 0.5 and the 0.618. Now, why is this a concern? I showed you like the on-chain metrics 
that are showing that yeah i mean price has been going up but it's looking like it's the walls who are selling into retail investors and this is really common actually when you get into retracement levels right obviously this is just my own point of view i mean i'm not a financial advisor do not consume this as financial advice i would encourage you to do your, your own research but if you have got a query on the analysis feel free to write me in the comment section and if you like the content delicately tap the like button don't forget to share the video with your friends and family subscribe to the channel and see you on the next one take care bye